Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to generate AI VFX like building explosions, earth zooms, and many more effects completely free. You won't need a subscription or credits, as long as you change the right settings. In my previous AI earth zooming tutorial, I already showed the full process from the beginning, but I'll quickly go over it again since many of you might have missed that video. For this effect, I want to create a building explosion at the very end of the clip. That means we first need to scroll to the last frame of the original clip and take a screenshot. If you're using the FX console plugin, you can simply click the camera icon and it will save the frame to the location you've set. If you don't have FX console installed, you can go to the composition menu, select save frame as, and then choose either file or Photoshop layers to save that last frame as an image. Once you've saved the last frame, the next step is to head over to the Higgs Field AI website, where we'll generate the explosion VFX. Before we we dive into creating the video, I want to quickly walk you through the website's plans and explain how you can actually use it for free. A lot of you commented under my last AI tutorial saying Higgs Field isn't free, and that's true. It's a paid platform. However, when you register for the first time, Higgs Field gives you 10 free credits. With those credits, you can generate around two full videos. After you've spent all your free credits, Higgs Field will ask you to either buy more credits or subscribe to a paid plan. And that's completely legit, it's a professional tool, so of course it's not supposed to be fully free. If you plan to use it regularly, supporting the platform by paying is the right way to go. But here's the good news. Higgs Field can also be used for free on a daily basis if you know the right settings. Let's head over to the plans page. As you can see, I'm currently using the free plan. I haven't subscribed or bought any credits, simply because I don't use AI that much and I don't want to waste money on something I rarely use. For people like me, Higgs Field added a really cool option. With the free plan, you can actually generate one video every day completely free. And now I'll show you exactly how to do that. Click on create, and then select video. Now it's very important to change the model to Higgs Field Lite. This is their cheapest model, but it works amazingly well, the quality is always high, and it only costs 5 credits, which Higgs Field gives us for free every day. It's pretty awesome. As you can see, I've already generated some videos that I've used in my edits. And like I mentioned earlier, I don't use AI that much, so the 5 free daily credits are more than enough for me. Now let's continue with the AI explosion. First click on upload image and select the screenshot you saved from the last frame of your video. Next click on change, and from the list of effects, choose the one you want to use. In my case, I'll go with building explosion, so let's select that. Now click on generate and simply wait for it to finish. Once it's done, we can preview the result. It looks fun but not very realistic, and who cares, we made this AI explosion for free. We can just download it and use it. Later we'll speed ramp it and add some shakes, which will make the video look much better. Let's download the clip and drop it into the After Effects timeline. Drag it to the very end of the original clip, since it will serve as a continuation of the video. The generated image is small because it's 720p, so we'll need to scale it up to fit the screen. Now let's quickly preview how it looks. It looks a bit too slow, so let's speed ramp this clip to make it look much better. Right click on the generated AI video, go to time and select enable time remapping. Now drag the time indicator to where you want the speed ramp to start, and set your first keyframe. Then move forward to where you want the ramp to end, and simply drag the time forward again to set the ending keyframe. Once you're happy with the speed ramp, go ahead and delete the rest of the video, the part that comes after the second keyframe. Now select both time remap keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to apply easy ease. Next open the graph editor, right click inside and select edit value graph. Make sure only the time remap keyframes are selected, then adjust them into a smooth curve for a smooth ramp. Once that's done, we can preview the result. Everything looks good to me. To enhance it even more, I'll add a shake effect. For this I'll use one from my AM Film Shakes pack. I won't go into detail on making shakes here, since I've already made plenty of tutorials on that. Also I've created 16 advanced shake presets, which you can grab from the link in the description. Now let's check how it looks with the shake applied. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.